AITA for telling my stepdaughter she is welcome to go live with her mother full time because I won't get rid of my Harry Potter themed bookcase. I'm having a bit of family drama and need a reality check about if I am being unreasonable here. I really need the perspective of LGBT plus sensitive individuals because the drama surrounds transphobia perpetrated by JK Rowling. My stepdaughter is going through a pretty tough time. The last couple years have been really rough on her. She has been dealing with bullying at school, being held back a year, not getting along with her mom's new husband, self-harm and identity issues, lots of questioning of her sexuality and gender. We have been working on getting her a good mental health team of doctors and therapists to help her navigate all of this. Please know we aren't throwing her to the wolves or internet to deal with it all herself. I've been in her life since she was seven. We've always had a pretty good, though not terribly close, relationship. I have not taken on a parental role, but I've always tried to make myself available for her. Until last year, her mom had primary custody and her dad had weekends with alternating holiday. Last year due to the issues with her school and mom's house, my stepdaughter requested the custody arrangements be changed. Since she came to live with my husband and I full time, there has been quite a bit of friction between the two of us. One of the biggest points of contention is my Harry Potter fandom, particularly the bookcase, and my supposed transphobia, due to my apparently wrong stance when it comes to the politics regarding trans issues in our country. I grew up in the heyday. So many of my childhood and teen memories are tied to the franchise. My friends and I were all really into it. We attend midnight book releases, dressed up in costume for movie releases, through HP-themed parties when we wanted to hang out, etc. In many ways it shaped the course of my entire life. Those same friends and I joined our high school's botany club because herbology. That unlocked a lifelong passion of mine and my career is working with plants. Over the years I've collected quite a bit of memorabilia, many of which are gifts, and they have always been displayed on my most prized possession. A monstrously large custom bookcase my grandfather, a former woodworker, built for me when I was a teenager. I love this thing. The shelves are live-edge black walnut slabs. All around the casing my grandpa carved beautiful HP-themed imagery. Owls, cauldrons, shooting stars, lightning bolts, an adorable little rat at the bottom and nibble marks from said rat, etc. It's both sentimental and valuable. The slabs of walnut for the shelves alone would be pushing a grand, let alone attempting to value the hand-carved craftsmanship. The bookcase has always been proudly displayed in my home. It currently lives in our living room. During one of our family therapy sessions, my stepdaughter expressed that seeing my HP shelf made her feel really uncomfortable because of the author and that she was really disappointed in me and her father for being so supportive of a bigot. I apologized for making her feel uncomfortable in her own home, and said that I would take down the HP stuff. So I packed up all the HP themed merch off the shelf. Made sure I didn't have the books or anything on display that said Harry Potter anywhere. I bought some LED grow lights and converted the bookcase into a plant shelf to display succulent. I bought some witchy, but not overtly Harry Potter, themed pots for the little guys so they'd go with the shelf. This was not an acceptable compromise for my stepdaughter and has remained a point of contention. With my stepdaughter hurling that I slash we, referring to my husband, broke a promise by saying we would get rid of the Harry Potter stuff. I tried to explain to my stepdaughter that, while I do not agree with J.K. Rowling's political stance at all. The media has a special place in my heart because of my childhood association with it and that the shelf was very important to me because it was a gift from my grandpa, but she maintains that none of that should matter because in 2024 it is nothing but a symbol of transphobia and hate. At first my husband was supportive of me and my desire to keep my bookcase, but lately the arguments are wearing on him and he asked me if I would reconsider keeping it in the living room, suggesting we rent a storage unit to house it in. After the most recent blow up about it, I kinda lost my temper. I didn't yell or anything, but I did very firmly tell my stepdaughter that this is my home and my bookshelf stays. If it is such a big problem for her, she can always go back to live with her mother. I knew it was a low blow pretty much as soon as I said it. I quickly apologized but it was out there. My stepdaughter has been on an emotional downward spiral. My husband and I have been arguing almost non-stop. I think it is mostly stress because he is at his wit's end with how to help his daughter but he is becoming pretty mean and nasty towards me, telling me to grow up and just get rid of the fucking bookcase. I know I was a dick for saying my stepdaughter could always go back to live with her mom, and I suspect that will be the main topic at hand in our next family therapy session. But am I really being unreasonable in wanting to keep my beloved bookcase?